Oh! Hey guys, what's going on? Third Shade Reactions here. We're back of Shane. Tom. We're back here with Ninja Turtles, the 2012 show, season two. Episode 13? 13. We have the return of the Rat King. He's back and he has grown more powerful. But Splinter has been practicing fighting without seeing. Which mm -hmm. honestly, he's probably actually already mastered. But we got to see it on display where uh, he used it in the end. And, and the, one of the great things good storytellers do, they show us some information. Like usually in the beginning of a story. It's there, but we forget about it. And then it comes back later. Right. Uh, we had Ice Cream Kitty, which is horrendous. Disgusting. But it became cute. But it was horrendous. I like that it was useful. Like, it became a part of the fight. It was defending Michelangelo. We had Casey, you know, his fear of the rats come back. And he, we had him, as you pointed out, him uh, face that fear. I wouldn't say conquer that fear, but he faced that fear. And we did talk a little bit about, and we did talk a little bit about April and Casey's domestic situation. Are they dating? <laughs> Are they not? Are they Facebook official? You guys, I'm drooling. Cry. Shredder didn't authorize Razar, operation. as Mario said, I, think I know it's- Silence! I'm in charge while my father's in Japan. Hold up, ninjas. I have a feeling we're not alone here. You're right, Leo. We have a potential spy. I thought I heard- Foot! Attack! I like rooftop shenanigans. Yeah. <laughs> Karai, listen. There's something you should know. It's about your father. Your real father. I'm not interested in anything but you begging for your life. <laughs> Karai, look out! You idiot. Get out of the way. <laughs> Jump to the left or the right. You're a ninja, damn it. Does that bother you? For the plot, they have a turtle or some a character do something that they wouldn't normally do. Scientists are calling them microquakes, but they shake so hard, this reporter's hair was badly messed up. They're happening in a pattern that's not at all random. Is that awesome? Awesome bad. Huh. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? <laughs> ah! Who has that kind of technology? Uh, ah! <laughs> I tried to tell Karai that you're her father. There is a saying. He who runs his mouth gets a face full of nunchaku. They say that in Japan? They would if you were there. The child I thought I had lost in the fire is Karai. My daughter. Shredder stole Niwa away. She was raised by Shredder as his daughter and trained. Some kind of joke, right, Sensei? Karai's our sister? Sensei, she's still our enemy. There is good in her. I know this. The truth must be told. That'd be a hell of a thing, Father right? should have been back We've hours ago. Seen with his this though, you know? Oh, yeah, but. The crying turned him into a mutant when he was a kid decades ago. Decades ago. Master Shredder, you look terrible, Bradford. I bring with me the most feared assassin in all of Asia. Tiger Claw. Another freak? This is the Foot Clan you promised me? I must say, Master Shredder, I am disappointed. Can I offer you some refreshments? Milk. Skim. <laughs> it was a rival who sliced off my tail. One day I will find it. And he will pay the price. If you can't keep your own... He is my new second in command. I've earned that job! Not some oversized cat in a scarf! Enough! <laughs> Tiger Claw. <laughs> In a scarf. <laughs> he's supposed to be from Asia, but he's got that 80s action vibe. So these are the robots you told me about? With the little brains inside, yeah. What are they doing? I got this, Red. Stay here. When you play cricket, you gotta have some crunk. Cricket? 
Let's take this to Donnie. Let him check it out. Why not take it to a real laboratory? Trust me, Donnie's way ahead of most scientists. Yep. Come on. Casey. Asshole. Take some jealousy there. Button. And portable portal. I would just be afraid that the crane would know where the door opens. I'm going first. <gasps> Raph! Come on, Red. I don't know if I'd just be jumping in there. I don't think that's good. That's in the title. I mean, the, the theme song, right? The Krang must use it as a gateway between realities. Guys, the door's gone! We're trapped! There's thousands of doors. Everyone, start searching for a way home. Whoa, amazing. It's so beautiful. Well, check this out, Red. Oh! It's us! Why do we do that? Hey guys, you made it to the halfway point. Just to let you know, 90% of the people who watch us, they aren't subscribers. So do us a favor, hit that subscribe button. Do it, it's good, it helps us out. Let's jump back in. Is that supposed to be April? Nice jumpsuit. Guys, look! Isn't that so That's cool? Crazy. Dude, April's kind of a hottie in the 80s. This place is making my brain melt. Where's the, the knob? Where's the knob? The wrong one. Take it down. Get ready, team. Take the top, knock the top down. Firesoids ah! destroy. Of course, they never stab him on the I head. I was going to say, just right through the top of the head, man. You, you recognize that from the, the opening, right? Guys, let's run them! They're gone! We gotta get that remote. What cannons! <laughs> what dimension are we in? <laughs> What is that? You may call me Tiger Claw. Sorry, pal. I'm not a cat person. <laughs> you are nothing but cubs. <laughs> nice kitty. Uh, <laughs> Out of my way, Don. <laughs> so they didn't. That was weird because. <laughs> That was too close. All right, Johnny, how do we get out of here? You're the expert, Gap Tooth. Gap Tooth? Look in the mirror lately, cave mouth. <laughs> Guys, stop. Check this out. I thought they went into a dimension and they closed the door. What is that? <laughs> Krang is aware of spies in that doorway where Krang is not, but soon will be. Surrender is optimum. Non-surrender means disintegration, which is less optimum. <laughs> Oh. He's pretty cool. I like him. You are defeated. Summon your master. <laughs> A cheese phone. Truly an emergency. Cheese phone. Mushy mushy. Leonardo. Mushy mushy. Yeah. <laughs> cheese phone. I just. <laughs> This is it! I love you guys! Ralph, it was me who ate your last piece of chocolate pepperoni pizza! I'm sorry, man! Release my sons! No! Huh,キュースとネコはカモットは言ったものだが、果たしてどうかな? <laughs> You will continue marching from the place you are to the place you are not yet. <laughs> What's that gross slobbering sound? It sounds worse than Mikey eating pizza. <laughs> I'm feeling we're about to see something disgusting. Yep. <gasps> They're milking them? For mutagen? By Darwin's beard. 
This is where the mutagen comes from. Fascinating and disgusting. Huh? Ah! You know. Ah! Crime, we have been discovered in the place that was meant to be undiscovered. <laughs> Unleash the Crothatragon! <laughs> now you are defenseless. A ninja is never defenseless. You got him, Sensei! Get out of there. Try to gonna say, try to get out. Do something. Oh, that's cool. We shall see if a cat always lands on its feet. <laughs> no! Splinter, he's your father, your true father. Liar! You'd say anything to save him! No, I swear it, he's your father. I'll silence you. No wonder it's a two-parter. <laughs> we will see if the cat always lands on his feet. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, no. full length, come back to the YouTube channel for the reaction. This was, <laughs> it's a two-parter. Uh, of course, it's only going to go up one week at a time. I know people start asking, hey, you going up? You know, maybe they aired at the same time. But we are going to watch the next one here in a minute. So, uh, what? <laughs> these little, like, insulting one-liners that these guys have to each other are hilarious. I thought that was less funny and more cool. I, yeah, it was just very kind of suave, like, let's we'll see if a cat always lands on his feet. Yeah. <laughs> Very, very, very petty in a in a cool way. Okay, my, my only gripe with this about Tiger Claw, who's a really cool character. Yeah, he's awesome. Is he's the best assassin in all of Asia, and I know it's. I think it's stereotypical in the cartoon sense that he would be more represent. He would have more things about him that represent Asia or ninjas. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, but he seems like kind of like a. It looks Sylvester like Sylvester Stallone. He looks like an '80s action. Yeah. Uh, you know, and he. I mean, he obviously knows how to fight. He's got like a a, a mini. No, it's not a katana, but a mini blade that he uses. He got a couple different guns. And... Yeah, he's obviously you know awesome, but uh, you know he's not as adept of a ninja, obviously as Splinter. Splinter pretty much kicked his ass. It wasn't like a complete ass whooping. The guy can maybe you know get a couple hits in there, but I wonder if I don't know enough about tigers to be able to say this definitively, but they're from the... Southeast Asia. Okay, I was gonna say maybe it's because of like his species. As far as being a top, well, they're Siberian area. tigers as well, but that's Siberia is pretty much Asia. It's just farther east, northeast Russia or whatever. I don't want you to spoil anything. Okay. But do we find out what happens to his tail? I haven't seen this. Remember, fool? You've never seen a show in your life. I'm watching. I'm reacting to it. <laughs> that doesn't mean you've never seen it like years ago. No, never. Oh well, okay. Yeah. Good. Yeah, I I remember my son watching it a little bit, and I I, I literally don't remember anything. Yeah. I remember Casey. Uh, you know, I've I've seen the toy of him. I remember thinking he's stupid compared to how he was in the movie, um, but he he's growing on me. And I don't remember him at all from the from the from the eighties cartoon. To be honest with you. One of the coolest things is we saw a glimpse of the eighties Ninja Turtles. Mm -hmm. uh, April's looking fine as hell in that yellow jumpsuit. She looked a little older. Yeah, I think she's like in her in her twenties or maybe early thirties in the show. I mean, in the original cartoon. But yeah, she she she's a hottie, man. Casey talked about playing cricket. Insert Ninja Turtle footage of Casey Jones in the first movie saying cricket. Cricket. Cricket! Yeah, so uh, I think that's obviously probably borrowed from that part of the movie. Uh, and I, I'm, it's cool that I'm able to catch these. It's cool of me to be able to catch those things. And I want to shout out to Mario, who's a huge turtle fan. Talks to us a lot on social media. I hope you're doing well, man. Yeah, man. And I always said Razor as a kid. I know it's Razar. I, I did miss the first time he, he trans Dog Pound transformed into Razar. Um, we were actually, we weren't paying attention when we were talking when it said Razar. Yeah, man. The cheese phone was funny. Yeah, that's hilarious. And dude, the, the, the idea, I've always loved different dimensions and all that shit. I've always thought that's the coolest thing. What is Mushi, not to go back to the cheese thing for a second, the cheese phone. Mushi What does Mushi Mushi mean? I have no you idea. mean like hello or something? Something. I have no idea. Yeah. And okay, I do have an actual real criticism of, of, of this episode, which I hate to do. They get thrown into the portal, and then the Krang takes the key and throws it away into another portal. 
leaving us to believe that they're tra trapped in a different world. But what if that portal led to where they were? I think it neutered the threat that the tension that the scene had when they just said, oh, they're still in the same fucking place or they're in a place exactly like it, which means there was no point in doing it. Yeah. And they just ended up in the same pl same place or a place exactly like it. There was literally no no point except just to create tension before the commercial break. Yeah, I don't know about that. And a huge reveal for the lore of mutagen for this version of the turtles was a Carthach Carthachicans, these slug type things, are creating mutagen. They're just milking them for the mutagen. Yeah, and let me tell you, <clears throat> uh, I feel like I need to take you or Zach or you know, I need to take you through this show called Peacemaker, which I know you haven't watched any of the Marvel stuff. This is actually DC. Did you see Man of Steel in those movies at least? Yeah, I love Man of Steel. I love Man of Steel, and I. I liked a lot BVS. And I really like Justice League, the Snyder version. It's a shame that they're getting rid of that universe. There's so much trouble with it. Nothing to do with the cast. Gal Gadot is Wonder Woman. That's Wonder Woman. Uh, Superman, to me, Henry Cavill is the best one I've ever seen. Uh, Tom Welling, though. He's up there. That's pretty cool that they gave us a kind of new origin, as far as I'm concerned, about the mutagen. They are from a different dimension. They are these things that produce them. So they're capturing them, they're pumping it out, and that's how they get mutagen. Makes you wonder how it came to be that we're this far into the show. Mutagen's been involved since just about the beginning. And we're the turtles are just now discovering, despite all their previous interactions already, with the Krang that we're just now kind of starting to see and, and come to find out it's just these giant slug worm things that they're just milking it out of. Like, are there more? Yeah, I think they're, they're rounding them up from that other planet, from the other universe. So like, are there thousands or there? Yeah, I imagine there are a lot from that planet, I guess, or, or I don't know, maybe they're going extinct in that planet. So you've got essentially an endless supply. Yeah. Like, well, maybe in that dimension, mutagen doesn't interact the same way as it does. Yeah. And then you bring it to our dimension. The physics, the laws of our universe are different, and the and the mutagen does something different. Right. Um. So either way, it, it's useful to have. And uh, obviously, it's funny because this is the second season in the Ninja Turtles two movie. They reveal the origin of the ooze, or the mutagen. They call it ooze, in, in the movies, and they're going to call it ooze in the the new Mutant Mayhem movie. And I really like it. I thought it was definitely unique. And now I just want to know more about the different dimensions. In the original cart eighties eighties nineties cartoon. There all there's dimension X and there's all kinds of other dimensions. I think the heart of this is is eventually Minwa or Karai. Is she going to? I think obviously she'll come to her senses. But because I know this thing lasts like six or seven seasons, I'm wondering what happens because I don't know if she should just join the turtles after she finds out. I can't imagine she'll want to stay with the Shredder. I don't know if they'll have an Asajj of interest situation, which I know you don't know what happens to her. But, uh, you know, she kind of, like you said, we're still kind of fairly early on. Yeah, we're fairly early, so I just don't know what's going to happen to her character. I feel, like, I feel like that story needs to happen later, in my opinion. I can just imagine from Splinter's point of view, can you imagine like the pent up rage that you would have knowing that your arch rival is this evil maniacal dictator who's trying to destroy the city and destroy you and knowing that he stole your daughter years ago? That'd be terrible. Uh, that would. Well, yeah, but Splinter has such a, you know, he talked about his anger he had when he was younger. He has since then conquered that. And so I think he has a lot more peace now, but I'm sure it's more about it haunts him more than it angers him. Yeah. Because a lot of it was his his fault. He he's, that he he engaged in that rivalry and he fueled it as well. Right. Anyways, guys, that's it right here.